Ka'ak Arabic, KK also transliterated kak or kaka is the Arabic word for cake, and can refer to several different types of baked goods produced throughout the Arab world and the Near East. This cake is popular in Indonesia, and called as Q kak. Variations Topic: Bread rings. Kaik can refer to a bread commonly consumed throughout the Near East that is made in a large ring shape and is covered with sesame seeds. Fermented chickpeas are used as a leavening agent. Widely sold by street vendors, it is usually eaten as a snack or for breakfast with zada. In East Jerusalem, it's sometimes served alongside oven-baked eggs and falafel. Palestinians from Hebron to Janine consider Jerusalem kaak to be a unique specialty good, and those from the city or visiting there often buy several loaves to give to others outside the city as a gift. In Lebanon, kaak bread rings are made of sweet dough rolled into ropes and formed into rings and topped with sesame seeds. Instead of zada, after baking, it is glazed with milk and sugar and then dried. Tunisian Jews also make a slightly sweet and salty version of the pastry, but don't use a yeast-based dough. In Egypt, usually at wedding parties, a variation made with almonds, known as kak by loz, is served. A 13th century Middle Eastern culinary text, Kitab al Wusla il al Habib, features three recipes of kak. Topic: Sweets The pastries or sweets known as kaak are semolina-based cookies such as kaak by mamul or kaak by ajwa which is stuffed with ground dates, kaak by jows which is stuffed with ground walnuts and kaak by fustok which is stuffed with ground pistachios. Kaak are popularly served for Eid al-Fitr and Easter in Egypt, where they are known as kaak. Kaak are coated in powdered sugar and filled with agamea, jamet a mixture of honey, nuts, and ghee, locum, walnuts, pistachios, or dates, or simply served plain. They are also decorated with intricate designs. Egyptians have made kaak since the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt, 3,500 years ago. Arab Christians, primary among them Palestinian Christians including those who live in the Palestinian diaspora and Lebanese Christians, make these sweets to celebrate Easter. The pastries are often shaped as wreaths and symbolize the crown of thorns that Christians believe Jesus Christ was wearing on the day of his crucifixion. For the Muslim feasts during Eid al Fitr and Eid al Adha, kaak by mamul is a traditional dessert as well. In Gaza, when a neighbor sends a dish filled with food to your house, as is often the case during the holidays, it is customary to return the dish filled with food of your own making, and most commonly with kaak by ajwa. The kaak sweets are also made year-round among the entire Palestinian population and flour is sometimes substituted for semolina. Kaak al-Asfar, the yellow roll, is a cake of bread that is made by Muslims in the Levant to honor the souls of the departed. Traditionally, this bread, stamped with an elaborate geometric design, was distributed along with dried fruit to the poor, to children, and to relatives, by the family of the deceased on the Thursday and Monday following the death and on a day known as Kamis al-Amwit. Thursday of the Dead. A bread stamp that was used to imprint designs on these cakes was discovered in Palestine and dates back to the 14th or 15th century CE. It is round, with a round handle and geometric designs, and measures 19 cm in diameter. Kaak sweets made by Iraqis are generally donut shaped and covered in sesame seeds, such as kaak ab sumsum and kaak eem smukin, which has raisins among other ingredients. Kaak Beharat u Tifach shares the shape and many of the same ingredients as Kaak Eem Smukin, but substitutes apples for raisins and is coated in almonds instead of sesame seeds. See also Bagel Bublik Simit <laughs>